Hey guys, in this lesson, we take a look at the text tool in Anime Studio. The text tool in Anime Studio allows you to add text to your projects. Imagine that. This is useful if you want to create a title sequence for your cartoon, maybe a closing credit sequence. You want to write out the names of the people who were involved with your cartoon. Maybe you want to add something written into your cartoon in the environment, like a sign. Or maybe you just want to do some text dialogue as opposed to voice dialogue. All of that is possible now with the text tool. Since I come from a Flash background, I will point out that this tool works differently than it does in Flash. In Flash, you would write out your text, and you could choose different text options like dynamic input and so on. And once you had the text placed, you could always go back and edit the text by simply double-clicking on the text box. Well, with Anime Studio, when you create the text, it makes it a vector graphic, meaning that you can't go back in and retype out or change a letter or two out very easily. You'll actually have to delete the entire text block, or graphic block for that matter, and retype the text. So with all that said, let's get started. First, you can open up a blank document and choose a color for your fill um, in your stroke, if you wish. You can do both. Um, the fill color will be the color of your text. So in this case, I'll just choose something that we can easily see like red and click OK. And I'll leave my stroke to black. So once you have those options set, click on the text tool. And here you have the ability to enter in your text. You can choose the um, text that you want to enter, of course, by typing in up here, and it can only be one line. So if you want two lines, one below the other, you'll have to insert two texts or more if you wish. You can choose if you want the text to have a fill or a stroke. So if you have stroke, of course, whatever color you have for your stroke will appear around the text. And if you choose not to have a fill, you'll just have that outline as opposed to the red. You can also choose to create one shape or multiple shapes. So when you create one shape, your entire text is one shape. But if you choose multiple, you will have each letter be a shape. And you can choose to center the text horizontally. Um, this again will just, as you type out, it will, as you can see, center horizontally as it is on the screen and you can choose to have it placed like that on your stage if you wish. And finally over here you have your font choices. Now there's a whole lot of font choices as you can see on my computer. It will depend on which fonts you have installed on your computer um, depending on which ones you can choose. And you can always download fonts if you want. And the thing about Anime Studio is um, unlike Flash it, when you used dynamic text in Flash, if the user who was viewing it didn't have the font you were using, they couldn't see the font. Well, here in Anime Studio, since you're mostly creating videos, or if you're just doing an SWF, it's graphic-based anyway, so it doesn't really matter if your viewer has the font that you have or not. So we'll just choose a font and click OK. Now, as you can see, I'll just render out my project. You can see that I have the outline surrounding the text, that black outline that I indicated on my options. So from here, what you can do is you can treat this like any other graphic um, that you would draw out in Anime Studio. So we could, we could grab some of the edges here, like this dot, and we can drag it out and so on because it is a graphic. We could go to frame one and click here and go to frame 20 or 48, whichever, and just drag down like that. And we can see the tween take place just like that. You could apply bones to this if you wanted to. There's basically an unlimited number of things you can do with this text because just like all the graphics in Anime Studio, it acts the same. So that is something you can use in your projects. Anyway, that concludes my first tutorial for the year. I know it was simple, but don't worry, I have much more coming. So I hope you guys found this helpful and I will see you next time.